Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, December 26, 2019. Steve Cypress here, hoping you and your family had a fantastic Christmas and is looking forward to the new year less than a week away. I have not been wearing Hawaiian shirts. It's been a while because the weather has been downright ridiculously unseasonably chilly. Uh, right now, it's just a hair over 50 degrees. Uh, that's officially uh, up here in the mountains. It's usually a few degrees cooler, so it's probably in the 40s, and it's raining. You might be able to hear the raindrops behind me. Just another miserable day here. But, of course, how can I complain? Miserable, meaning in the 50s, and a little bit of rain. No snow, no ice, no storms, none of that kind of stuff. Anyway, the new year, the new decade, is about a week away. So, after the holiday, it's one week away. And this is the time of year where historically, traditionally, business owners will make goals, will look back. That's Throwback Thursday. I'm throwing it back to one year ago, the beginning of 2019, where you set out your plans, your goals. Now, personally, people don't call them plans or goals, they call them resolutions. And they break them, you know, routinely within the first few days or a couple of weeks or so. Businesses, hopefully, you don't break your plans or your goals that easily. Um, you want your goals written in stone. You want your plans written in sand. Plans can change at any time as necessary to reach the goal. But now is the time of the year that business owners will do a lot of goal setting and some soul searching. And here's the exercise you ought to do. Look back to the beginning of this year. See how you did with your goals. Uh, my clients routinely smash through their goals, but I know that's unusual. Uh, most business owners, most people don't come anywhere near hitting their goals. Even though it's a booming economy, most business owners are still not up to speed on effective advertising, marketing, and sales, the large majority of which. So I don't know how many millions of businesses go out of business every year. Uh, it's usually, of course, because of that. We're not bringing in the cash required to keep the business going. Cash, the lifeblood of the business. So here's the thing. A business owner, especially an entrepreneur, uh, can be defined as someone who arranges resources in order to uh, bring about more resources, more than a sum of the parts. Resources meaning personnel, equipment, cash, uh, know-how, all the resources you can amass and put them together to generate more. And so, at this time of year, if you haven't reached your goal, what you need to look at is what will be different next year? What resource do you need to be a piece of that puzzle? Maybe it's a person, maybe it's some know-how, maybe it's a, you know, a person as a guide or a connection or a key employee or a business partner. You know, what resources do you need? What will be different one year today than it is today that'll get you much further towards where you want to be? And if, even if you're a high performer, often high performers, we don't hit our goals because we set extremely lofty goals. So we ask ourselves this time of year, throw it back to a year, look over the year and say, man, am I just going to hope it's better this year or work a little harder or any of that kind of nonsense? Or are you going to get the piece of the puzzle that was missing? over the last year and put that in place for the next year. By the way, if you want help with any of this, uh, here's a resource you can take advantage of. Go over to helpfromsteve.com. We'll talk over where you are at the end of the year and I'll at least uh, help you hit the ground running for next year and uh, get a lot more clear on what you need to add, what piece of the puzzle is missing or was missing in 2019 that you can put into place and have a smashing successful 2020 as we start off the new decade hopefully it'll be the roaring 20s for you and your business that'll do it for throwback thursday i'll be back tomorrow on foundation friday thanks for watching today and i'll catch you then from rainy arizona and chilly but i'm still wearing my hawaiian shirt anyway i just had to do it catch you tomorrow